Hey everyone, welcome back to Avenue with Genghis. New update. People are very excited. I kind of got other opinions. I kind of think like it is a good update. They did update some stuff, but uh, some stuff really sucks and some stuff didn't really replace anything. There's really only a couple things I do like about the update. I don't like Civ Treasure 11. Uh, <laughs> 20 Civ Treasures. That's what Evity gave us. You gave us 20 Civ Treasures. These things take, like, I I'm almost at 7, and that's like 4,600. And the next one, I think, is like 6,500. So I can only imagine 9, 10, 11 are going to be like 8,000, 10,000, 12,000 Civ Treasures to get. But thank you for the 20 you gave us. Also, thank you for not increasing our treasure scrolls yet, but I know that I'm almost maxed on all of them. Like, I'm like 1580 on a bunch. So, like, they're like, you know, just a little bit away from being finished, which means you're going to update them. That's usually how it goes. Uh, they updated some different interfaces, different rally screens, uh, ideal land, which will be super exciting for our conqueror from the last week, D Bonus. I know he's gonna want to drop 40 grand right away. He has to have a big ideal land. It helps the least out of everything you spend money on, but it looks good, right? Like people can click on your name and be like, that's a big ideal land. This guy must be good, but he's not, guys. Anyways, he sent us another email, a finishing email. Super exciting. Uh, you guys could pause and read it. I don't feel like reading it, but uh, basically he says he got over 20 emails from our server thanking him for the inspiring email. So I'm sure they're all from my alliance. I'm sure everyone's really happy. He says that there's one person holding us back. I guess, I don't know why you keep picking on this Gaza guy, but uh, he's not that bad. If you leave him alone, you don't talk anything to him in world chat. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't tile, you know, um, he doesn't steal monsters. He just kind of sleeps and does nothing unless you bother him in world chat or say something about uh, the war in the Middle East. But uh, anyways, uh, that's that. This is the email. So I guess he enjoyed being Conqueror. We enjoyed having him. We learned a lot. He, you know, he got to, you know, prove to himself how worthy he is. And he got to spread the word of how knowledgeable he is. But uh, And then you could see, just so anyone who doesn't believe we don't have nap, there are people in uh, World Chat who said, what was this guy talking about? We do have a nap with uh, VLC, which is my alliance. New General, uh, this guy's kind of confusing a little bit, but he seems to be a really good person to put with your backup Archer General for reinforcements. Um, he has good archer stats, good archer specs, good archer ascending. But then if you look in his covenant, it has lots of in-city and defending archer stuff. So uh, I would just think that he would be for archer reinforcement if you are that type of player who has multiple archer marches. So this is a good person, obviously. And I would say most Covenant Generals are for the all-star caliber player, not the everyday player. So I wouldn't put too much thought into him. I will collect one of him just because I always think that when I stop collecting, they're going to end up in the uh, General Hall 3. He's not there yet. So new interfaces, here they are. There's these dots at the top of the screen. Uh, it seems like a lot of them, though, like a whole long line of things that all do the same thing. Could have just put the three dots. Anyways, uh, they basically show you what buffs are going on in your city. So like what food resource speed ups you have or your truce or if you have like attack 20 percent on or march size on and you that's pretty cool you could click there because it's good when you're away from your city so you're over in the corner of the map watching something else watching a target you want to attack in svs and you can click and see oh do i have these buffs on and i can add them so that is cool i do like that i hated having to zoom home in order to put them on so i do like that update now, here's an update that I think people are overreacting to. So I'm setting a rally here to show you. There's an eye now. But this eye doesn't really do anything because you click on it and it brings you to the target. But you used to just be able to double click on the line that was there beside it that showed like the march time. That's how I used to ghost really fast or 
click to watch the targets if I was attacking them, send a rally to see if they were there. I double click and it would go there. So that eye doesn't really add anything. But what it does add is at the bottom of the screen there where the rally tab is, it does allow you to launch from outside of the Alliance War tab, which is a big deal. That is really good. Uh, if you don't set PvP rallies, you wouldn't know how important that is. So that is actually a really good update. Looking at the other events, uh, speed up consuming event seems to have stayed the same. And then advanced refining has some different rewards. You could get meteor stones in there now, which is really cool. But if you don't spend money, you're not going to be able to use those meteor stones because you need extra civ gear to be able to ascend so that's the catch 22 there this is kind of a little trick by ebony to get people to spend more money trial of knights has new generals so you get like arella polygenerous a couple other things in there and that's kind of cool i wish they would change the generals up a lot more there's this wheel that has the new i guess like uh purplish pinkish pinkish dragon but he's kind of like a miniature version of uh, z's the all-star dragon anyways if you want him on the wheel you will spend the same price as what it cost before to get him the 500 dollars. only you will think you're going to get lucky and get him cheaper if i get lucky i get him cheaper but you won't you will spend the same price that's what ebony does they trick you and it's the same price there is this event, which gives you a chance to summon some generals that you will now need in the next event. So Ebony offers this, which is really a good event for coiners because people already have these generals. Like I have all three of these generals, so I don't have to spend any money to be able to ascend them. But people who don't, you could get suckered into this event for these general fragments. It's general fragments, guys. It's not general packs. It's not that good. Don't spend money for it if you don't have these. So I ascended them all the way to five to get the rewards. Wanted to show you guys, and they're decent. Like I got some fragments, a little bit of Blood of Ares, but to go higher, you have to ascend them to six, and that is just not worth it. But I could see if you had a couple of them at six already or seven, I could see why you would then ascend them. Here's the new ideal lands. Uh, looking forward to seeing that on some people. You know, I can't wait to get hit with an extra couple thousand March size on some people. Civ treasures, very expensive. For those of you who are saying, oh, they didn't listen at all to the developer call. Well, of course they didn't listen. But also, these updates were like months in planning. The, the, nothing in the developer call would have stopped that what was already in plan already, all, already in place. So let's see what comes of it in the future. Look to their letter and let me know what you think of the update. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.